Now I'm going to show you a quick demo of the new address book component in Rad Studio 10.1 Berlin. The new FireMonkey T address book component allows you to get read and write access to the address book on both your Android and iOS devices. Now using this new component, you can create, update, and delete contacts. You can send a request to access your device's address book and get access status. You can fetch all or individual contacts. You can fetch all contacts from a specified group or specified groups. You can edit or remove existing contacts and groups, and you can also create new contacts and groups. Now, the contact fields are fetched on demand so that not all the data is loaded immediately, and this makes the loading of contacts a lot faster. Now, as you can see here, we have a sample application called the Birthday Reminder Demo, and this application is included with RAD Studio 10.1 Berlin for both Delphi and C++ Builder. And this demo provides a view of your contacts in order of upcoming birthdays. Now, there are two key steps to make the address book component work. First, we have to request permission. This will return via the on permissions request event if you can or cannot access the address book. And you can see here we've set up an on permission request event. And on iOS, this prompts a user dialog requesting that the user provide permission access to load the contacts. And on Android, it checks if you've set up the permissions on the application. So for Android, if we go to project options here, we can go to users permission. And there are three permissions that we've had to set. We had to set get accounts. And then we also had to set read contacts right here. And then we also had to set a permission for write contacts. And this will in turn allow you to retrieve all the contacts that are on your device and also read and write and create new contacts. Now in the sample, request permission is called via the form show event. So if we have a look here at our form, we set up an on form show event that requests access to the permissions. Now with the permissions enabled, this in turn then calls a second event, which is the on external change event. And this is another event that you can set up for the T address book. Here you can load or reload the contacts and then display them as you wish. Now this particular sample uses a thread to load the contacts. You could of course also use a T task. Now the thread does a sort of the contacts based on their birthday to display them then in month day chronological order. So you can see your friend's birthdays and uh, they're returned in the birthday reminder sample application and they're listed by upcoming birthdays in sorted order. Now I'm going to deploy this application to the simulator. And the simulator provides some sample contacts. And in this case, it will return those sample contacts to me. Now here you can see the permission request. Birthday reminder demo would like to access your contacts, okay? And as you can see here, it's returned four entries. Those four contacts in my address book all contain birthday information. So this demo application specifically looks for contacts that contain birthday information and returns those contacts in sorted order by upcoming birthdays. One of the things you can do, of course, as well, is you can use search here to search for a user by name. And if we have a look here, you can see that the birthdays for each of my contacts that have been returned with birthday information are displayed in chronological order by upcoming birthday. We can also go and have a look at the contacts application. And here you can see that for some of the contacts, address informa uh, birthday information has been provided, and for some of them, birthday information has not been provided. So for example, Hank here does not have any birthday information as part of his contacts record in the address book. That's why that particular user was not returned as part of the reminder demo application, birthday reminder demo application. Now we can edit the record, and we can scroll down here and add a birthday. Hit done. And then if we return back to our birthday reminder demo and pull the refresh, you will see that Hank has been returned as part of the results. And his birthday is coming up in 366 days. This was a quick demo of the new T-Address Book component for iOS and Android in RAS Studio 10.1 Berlin.